Jimmy Daniel Haslam finally got it fucking right. He fired John Dorsey, a guy who had a personal agenda. His personal agenda consisted of not interviewing candidates like Mike McCarthy and Bruce Arians because he knew if he had a phone out with them, much like it happened in Andy, Andy Reid in Kansas City, he'd be gone. And it came back to bite him because he got fired for hiring the wrong fucking guy. Jimmy and D. Haslam sat back and let him do his thing. Paul D. Potesta, they favored Stefanski from Minnesota. John Dorsey favored Freddie Kitchens. And it's no surprise, after a fucking horrible first year with Freddie Kitchens this year, Jonathan Dorsey wanted to keep Freddie Kitchens. No surprise. He didn't want to admit his failure and he wanted to keep his job. He knew if they fired him, he was most likely to come next. And they were going to keep him on as a talent evaluator because he can't judge talent, but he can't build it. See, John Dorsey is a great talent evaluator. So now he'll be flying from conference to conference for the next five, ten years judging talent. That's all he's good for. He can't construct a team. You don't construct a team like you build a fantasy roster. And that's what John Dorsey did. He did. He wanted a puppet. Someone that he could tell, do this, do that, do this, do that. Why do you think Antonio Callaway played all the time? Think about it. Why do you think Rashard Higgins? We thought it was Freddie Kitchens. It wasn't him. It was Dorsey. Dorsey wanted to be the guy. Well, I got this Diggs guy. I got this Kadero Hodge guy. I want him playing. That's why. Why do you think a joker didn't play? I got... I didn't get a joke. I want this guy playing. Dorsey is a control freak and an egomaniac. John Dorsey, uh, yeah, Jimmy Haslam recognized it, thank God, and said, you know what? You're either going to be a scout or you're going to be a fucking little puppet. And Dorsey didn't want that. Dorsey will never again take another job and get it, trust me. He'll be a scout flying from conference to conference evaluating talent because he's good at that, but he's not good at constructing a team. No one constructs a team like John Dorsey did. Oh, look at all the talent he got. Yeah, look at what he neglected. The offensive line. Look at his draft. He drafted uh, the Ngapupapa. Austin Corbett, number 30 in the first round. Or early in the second round, 32, whatever. Didn't pan out. Gone. Denard Avery. Gone. Antonio Callaway. Drug addict. Gone. John Dorsey wanted to be the guy. Hey, I picked Corbett when no one else thought he was going to err. I picked Corbett. Callaway when everyone else wrote him off and look at him. That's what he was banking on. Same thing with Mayfield. He shocked everybody. No one thought Mayfield was going to go number one. Although the Patriots wanted to move up to number two to get him because Josh McDaniels enamored with him. But he picked him. Because you know what? If he pans out, he looks like a genius. If he doesn't, who cares? He's fired. So John Dorsey, essentially you got yourself fired. If you would have hired Bruce Arians or Mike McCarthy, You'd still be employed right now because most likely the Browns will be playing Saturday, wherever first round by. Your inability to work with others and sit back and not be an egomaniac costs you a chance at giant general mentorship. And I'm glad because you did not know how to build a team. You can get talent, but you did not know how to construct a team at all. So that's the reason John Dorsey's gone. He's gone because he can judge talent but couldn't build a team. And when he found that his role was going to be reduced severely, he wanted out. Well, the Browns, they granted him his wishes. They fired him. So, John Dorsey's gone. Thank God. Now I'm hearing that uh, Paul D. Potess is just doing the search. The new coach will have fully power on the GM who he hires. And it's going to be a marriage made in heaven. And the Browns will be relevant again. I... McCarthy or McDaniel? Either one of them. Both MC boys. I want McDaniel. But I'm good with McCarthy. Doesn't matter. But I'd rather have McDaniel because you know what? I see some really promise. He likes Mayfield. And we know Mayfield last season was a victim of Freddie's, Freddie Kitchen's uh, nine play offense. Other teams knew what they were doing. Hell, Jarvis Landry said we didn't even know what we were doing at times. Bye bye, John. Bye-bye, buddy boy. Fucking loser, buddy boy.